Last winter was a mild one, but with the chance of La Nina this year, we could have a wet winter. Next weather meteorologist Karen Carter explains in today's Science of Weather. Last winter was mild with below average snowfall and above average temperatures. This year, however, things could be a bit different with La Nina. While El Nino is the warm phase, La Nina is the cool phase of the temperature climate in the tropical Pacific Ocean called the El Nino Southern Oscillation, or ENSO. Typically, the trade winds push warm surface water towards Asia, moving from east to west. But in some years, those trade winds are stronger, which cause cool water to rise to the surface in the eastern portion of the Pacific Ocean. This causes the jet stream to flow further north, bringing Michigan more wet weather with no significant impact on temperatures. Trent Frey, meteorologist for the National Weather Service Detroit, says the La Nina forecast has changed. I think we were originally forecasted to have a moderate or maybe even strong La Nina this year, whereas right now um, the latest forecast calls for a weak La Nina. And those are just determined based on how much colder than normal that area of the uh, Pacific Ocean near the equator is. So the colder it is, the stronger the La Nina. Last year was one of the warmest winters on record due to the strong El Nino. But what can we expect this year? So this year we're expecting a wetter year. That's going to be the more likely scenario. It's tough to say whether a lot of that will fall as snow or if it could fall as rain or, you know, a winter mix, some ice, some freezing rain, things like that, instead of kind of being on the drier, less snowy side, we're more likely to be on the wetter, a potentially more snowy side. Now that's the science of weather. For CBS News Detroit, I'm meteorologist Karen Carter.